Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. It is um, different from what I usually do. I say that in a lot of my videos, but this one is very unique. I just want to slow things down a little bit right before Thanksgiving and I want to give thanks for the things that I have and there's so much to be thankful for. Practicing gratitude is something that I've had to really work on and something that I've been doing every day and it really helps my mental state and my relationship with God and my family and my friends. So I do believe that it is really important to focus on those things and the positive things in life, um, which is something I always need to work on because I see the glass half empty a lot of times. So it's just a good reminder. In the meantime though, while I'm doing that, I will be showing you guys a little Dollar Tree craft that is super easy. So I'm just gonna be working on it while I'm telling you guys 10 things that I'm thankful for. I've been thinking of doing this video for a while, but I found this card at Dollar Tree. And first off, I thought, how cute is this dog? <laughs> But when I read it, um, you know, it, it just really like got me thinking that this would really be a good idea to just do this video. And on the card it says, there are so many things to be thankful for this year. I just don't know where to start. With this card, I have a frame that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So it was only $2. You guys might be able to guess what I'm going to do with this, but if not, um, you can keep watching and find out at the end, but this is such an easy DIY. Let me quit rambling and let's get started. 10 things I'm thankful for. Uh, number one would be my salvation. My relationship with God is very important to me. It is number one to me. I don't know where I would be without God and I say that like from my heart because I'm being totally serious. Uh, my life has been changed since I have become a Christian and I've never looked back since. Um, it's important for me to express that and I try to put God first in my everyday life and I've noticed that it makes my life a heck of a lot easier when I do that. So I just wanna share that with y'all. So if you ever wanna know um, more about that, I'm always available to ask. I mean, you can always message me, so I would love to tell you more about it. So that's number one. Uh, number two is my husband. <laughs> I um, am super thankful for my husband. Uh, he has been like uh, such a rock to me and he gets on my nerves <laughs> and uh, I get on his nerves. That's part of marriage. I mean, we've been together for like 10 years now. We've been married. 10 years next year so uh yeah like we're gonna get on each other's nerves but we love each other very much all right so number three is my family um some of my family <laughs> you know you can't pick your family so uh some of my family really sucks <laughs> if i'm just like really being honest like um that's just how it is most of my family does not, you know, um, and I also include my in-laws with that as well. My in-laws have been um, absolutely amazing. My mother-in-law reminds me a lot of my own mother. So when my mom passed away, sorry, I'm trying not to get emotional. It's very hard for me to talk about, um, but my mother-in-law was um, was there for me and she's been there for me. And she's somebody that um, is very similar to my mother and God knew that I uh, needed her. She's very important to me and um, my sister-in-laws, of course, my brother-in-laws and father-in-law. Um, and also, I have no grandparents left. Um, I lost three grandparents last year and that's been really hard. Um, but I do have um, Corbin's grandma, who I call grandma as well. Just to have her in my life has been 
awesome because I still um, just have that feeling of like having a grandparent in my life and that's something <sighs> that's something that I've really missed um, sorry you guys I don't really talk about this stuff because I start crying I miss them dearly um, but I'll always have those memories with me um, but yes I try to focus on the people that are still here in my life and how important they are to me. And if you're struggling with family loss, I would highly encourage you to do that. Focus on what you do have, like the family that you still have, and focus on those memories because it's very important. Um, but anyways, we'll move on. That's so quick crying. Uh, number four is my job situation. I'm so thankful for never would have thought that I would be where I'm at right now because I was in such a bad job situation for like almost eight years and I would like pray in my car every morning for God to take me out of that situation and put me in a new one and he answered my prayer like just beyond what I could even imagine. I mean, it's it's just been so weird. <laughs> I uh, worked another job for a few months, or about six months, and it wasn't great, but it was okay. I, you know, I didn't mind it, but um, there was a lot of like overtime and it got very tiring. So I was like, well, I have to figure something else out. And God just like answered my prayer. And um, now I get to work. Um, a morning job and then in the afternoon I get to be a reseller um, and I just love it. I'm hoping one day I can become a full-time reseller if that, you know, if that happens. Um, if not, I'm super happy with my job situation. I, I love the people I work with in the morning time and this works out for my life and I'm able to like focus on like filming and reselling, just doing things to express my creativity. Number five is friends. I'm very thankful for my friends. Um, that includes my online friends, uh, my church friends, my family friends, you know, just the way that God has brought all these people into my life has been incredible. And my online friends watching this video, love you guys so much. Like, you have no idea how happy I am that I met y'all. You guys have, like, honestly changed my life and just made me more confident in myself. And then I'm not the only person out there that likes uh, crazy, like, creative stuff, you know, and colorful things and uh, rainbows and unicorns and all that, you know, and it makes me feel like I'm part of this like small YouTube community and uh, Just to connect with you guys has been amazing So I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys because you know who you are. I'm gonna give you a virtual hug <laughs> I'm thankful for y'all. Um, I hope that I get to meet all of you in real life someday at some point point. Um, that would be so awesome if we ever got to do that. And I'm thankful for my church friends, the friends that I uh, serve with, and just, wow, yeah. I just, I've made some new friends over the past couple of years, and it's just really awesome. Number six is health. Although I am going through some issues right now, not really sure what's going on. I still have stomach issues. So yeah, just like things that people take for granted, you know, I think it's important to remember um, like what you do have, you know, even if you have some health issues going on, uh, focus on what is going well with your health. Number seven is food. Who doesn't love food, right? Very thankful for food and the fact that we're able my husband and I are able to put food on the table. Just to think about that in itself is so much to be grateful for, especially right now with how expensive food is. You know, some people just can't do it right now, and that's really sad. So I'm just extremely grateful that I'm able to go to the store and find what I need and get whatever I want. Number eight things I'm thankful for is my home. 
very thankful that my husband and I were able to buy a house. Um, I'm just super happy. Number nine, Jack. You guys didn't think I was going to forget about my dog, did you? Oh, Jack. I, you guys, I love this dog. <laughs> um, he is the light of my life. I, I don't know what I would do without Jack. He has brought me so much happiness and um, we got him when he was just a little baby. Ain't that right, bud? And he has not left my side since. He is a snuggle bug, y'all. He, yes. He loves back scratches. I mean, he is a total sucker for them. Um, <laughs> you're sweet, you know it. Mm-hmm. Uh, dogs are just amazing in general. I am definitely an animal person. I have a lot of dogs I'm thankful for. I'm very grateful for Jack. <laughs> and the last one, number 10, would be sewing, which I know it's kind of silly, but I'm so thankful that I learned how to sew. I have a machine and I have the ability to do it. I am so grateful. All right, you guys. We're finished with the little project. How cute is this? It's just a card and a frame. That's it. It is the easiest DIY that you will ever do. <laughs> um, I, you know, I just love this little picture of him. I like the gold frame too, the sparkly gold frame. So I'm gonna put this up with my decorations and look at it and remind myself every day that I don't know where to start for things that I'm thankful for because there's so much to be grateful for. All right, you guys, that's it for my video today. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope that y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Y'all stay safe and eat lots of good food. And Jack and I will see you guys in our next video. Say bye. Are you thankful for your mommy? Yes, you are.